Okay, please uh, just confirm uh, if you all listen to me loud and clear. Okay, uh, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. This is Sajad here, uh, your host for the coming 10 sessions. I'm equally comfortable in talking to you in English and uh, Urdu as well, and I'll be conducting this session uh, in both the languages, uh, but I would prefer to talk to you in English because uh, as you will keep on moving in your uh, ladder to success, it is the English language which is going to help you out in uh, uh, scaling the ladder of success. So, but you are at liberty and whenever you feel like that you are having any issues or any questions, please raise your hand and I'll be more than just happy to help you with uh, your questions. Uh, before I begin, I would like to acknowledge uh, the pictures for the pictures which I have made use of during this presentation, which I'm sharing with you. Uh, so I'd like to thank all those unknown individuals and entities whose pictures I have used for the making of uh, this presentation for education purposes. If you feel like that I'm uh, going fast, please uh, do let me know so that uh, I uh, slow down as well. Uh, you are uh, you are the best person in life and try to appreciate yourself as and when uh, you see yourself and the task which you are heading for is very gigantic but still it's uh, going to be a very fun thing which is coming your way uh, before I begin the formal uh, subject, I would like to give you a very brief intro of uh, what this PMP certification is all about. And uh, if you don't take a chance, you don't stand a chance. So in life, you need to uh, take chances and uh, going for certification is one such step in your life uh, to the success ladder. Uh, preparing for the PMP exam, take a step in the right direction, stand out in the crowd. So you need to separate yourself from the lot which you are uh, facing. Objective is to let you know why you need uh, PMP certification and how you can proceed to get one. Top 10 reasons, show your commitment to the project management profession, recognize your knowledge, skills, and abilities, reflect achievement, can lead to greater earnings, can lead to career opportunities and advancement. Prepare you for greater job responsibilities, improve skills and knowledge, build self-confidence, allow for greater recognition from peers, enhance the profession. Now, how to become certified? I'll explain uh, quite a few things in between as well, so you don't have to worry about uh, if I'm going fast. It does not matter that I'm not going to, I'm going to skip something. As and whenever uh, I'll be having uh, inputs into it, I'll definitely share it with you. Eligibility requirements for PMP certification. PMP stands for, by the way, uh, it's a project management professional. It is a PMI recognized uh, certification uh, accredited across the globe. In almost all countries of the world, they do, do recognize this certification. Uh, educational background, uh, diploma, associate degree, or global equivalent. Bachelor's degree or global equivalent, PM experience minimum five years, 60 months and 7,500 hours of PM experience or minimum three years or 36 months and 4,500 hours of PM experience. PM education, 35 contact hours of formal education for both the uh, background. So in your case, uh, the second one applies, that is a degree or global equivalent 
and uh, minimum three years or 36 months and 4,500 hours of uh, PM experience and 35 contact hours of formal education. But this said, uh, this short course is not going to help you with this certification because uh, the very first thing is that I'm not authorized for it. And the second thing is that there is not going to be a 35 contact hours. So in that case, uh, you need to uh, complete a one uh, three credit hour course uh, at the university level, and, uh, and also that uh, university has to be recognized by the PMI for imparting such uh, knowledge or information. But anyways, uh, this is one step in that direction, which is going to help you with the, your uh, certification. And I'm going to give you the very basics of uh, uh, the certific certification and this whole uh, exercise is in that direction that you will uh, be very comfortable with the terminologies which are used in uh, this certification. But anyways, uh, let's uh, move forward and then see how it is going to go. The application checklist, uh, formal name, valid email address, document education, document professional experience, 35 contact hours of PM training, a firm understand policies, procedures, accurate information provided, make payment. $405 for those who are not members of PMI, and uh, sorry, uh, who are members of uh, PMI and $555 for those who are uh, not members of PMI. So basically uh, per annum uh, membership fee is $100, so whether it, uh, you go this way or the other way, it is more or less uh, going to be equivalent somewhere. But anyways, uh, in Pakistani terms, it goes to 75,000 plus something. So if you are making that decision, you have to be very sure about it, that you are uh, very comfortable in appearing for the certification that is equally important for you, because the amount is uh, reasonably huge. This is the application uh, online form, which you can fill it out right away in the comfort of your own home. And uh, once you are done with it, uh, then you can uh, get yourself ready uh, for the exam. You will be having one year time, during which time you will be uh, eligible to appear for uh, three attempts during one year time uh, for appearing in the exam. And, uh, the moment you are, uh, your application is uh, submitted and approved by PMI, you will become eligible to appear for the exam. Uh, this is all uh, various uh, uh, things which you will need to fill out while uh, filling in your uh, online application. Uh, it is very much uh, relevant with each and every single individual differently. So. 90% of the time, they don't, uh, they trust you what you ever have written in your application. But uh, quite a few applications are selected for audit and uh, when they go for audit, they do uh, carry out the background check of whatsoever you have written in, the, uh, in your application. They do verify from the concerned authorities for uh, the authenticity of your uh, uh, documents and experience and everything. So try to be as accurate as possible because if uh, your application comes up for audit, then uh, you will be in uh, some kind of problem. So it's better not to lie or uh, tell anything or hide any information. Uh, so uh, be as true uh, to yourself and as to, to the PMI Institute as well. Now a little bit of exercise in that direction. Uh, daily cash uh, reconciliation, if you have an uh, answer for this question, please. Uh, I would not, not like to have your answers on, uh, uh, you, you can just write your answer on the chat box so that I can check it out easily. If you have the answer that uh, daily cash reconciliation is a project or not a project, just any wild guesses, because there is no penalty for uh, making guess. Uh, over here as well and in the final uh, uh, certification exam as well. So there is no penalty, so you can make a wild guess and uh, come up with your answers. If anyone, uh, don't hesitate to just write your answer in the group chat so that I can uh, move forward. And if you are unable to answer, even then it is not an issue. 
Over here, daily cash reconciliation is not a project according to the definition of project. I'll explain you in uh, later on, but I just wanted to have an idea as to where you guys stand uh, in terms of your understanding of the project uh, definition. Planning a family reunion in Aruba is a project. It is not. A, uh, it is. It is a project. So the answer is A. In the first case, it is B. And the third one is implementing Windows Seven on uh, all companies' uh, PCs. These uh, three. Unfortunately, close your uh, sound. Sorry, uh, because uh, there are background noises which are distracting. Let me mute you all. Uh, okay, sorry uh, for the interruption, but it was not from my side. Uh, anyways, uh, doesn't matter. It happens, especially when you no one is uh, watching you. Okay, uh, so implementing Windows Seven on all company PCs. It, again, it is going to be a one-time activity, so it is a project. So anything which is uh, time-bounded activity and not ongoing uh, is, a, is a project and the outcome of a project is always a unique uh, one. So this is not my definition, this is the definition of uh, PMI for uh, a project to be called a project. Identifying project work, organizing the company's annual picnic. Again, it is going to be a one-time activity, so it is a project. Developing and producing the monthly financial reports in January to December. Now, because it is, uh, although for that particular instant, it will be a time-bounded one-time activity, but it is going to be an ongoing thing for the entire year. Uh, year. So at, uh, at the same time, it can be called, in, in a month's time, it can be called a project. In over, and if it is spread over a year, then it, it becomes a project. Uh, sorry, uh, it becomes a process. Developing a startup company's uh, business plan. So again, making a business plan is uh, a one-time activity. So it is again uh, called a project. And this is uh, basically very brief uh, uh, flavor for you to get hold of uh, the definition of project. Uh, PMP examination information. You will be allotted four hours to complete the test. It will be an online test. Uh, you will be given 200 questions out of which you need to uh, uh, score uh, over here it is written as uh, uh, 175 it is it is not the requirement for you to uh, clear over 175 questions uh, to pass the exam the uh, number of questions which you need to uh, get correct is 161 questions but with this 175 stands for uh, uh, the, uh, for you to understand that uh, uh, 25 questions are spread across the entire test uh, uh, which are not, even if they are right or wrong, their uh, number is not considered as uh, you pass the exam or not. So these the 25 questions are those questions which have been uh, uh, created between uh, two exams and it is uh, for the sake of uh, running it over the test uh, to see how people across the globe are you know, attempting these questions and what are the maximum number of answers for a particular choice uh, to ascertain that uh, this is uh, the uh, global practice so once it is uh, agreed upon by uh, people across the globe that this is uh, the answer for this particular question then it is included in the database. So these are the 20, these 25 questions are simply mock questions, uh, which are here to understand uh, the global practices for project management. 
So in all 100 and say out of 175, you need to clear uh, 161 questions to get through the uh, uh, certification process. But anyways, uh, uh, at this point in time, it is not uh, very much required by you to have a very deep insight into uh, the same process and information. I'm just give, uh, going to give you a very brief glimpse of uh, uh, the, uh, the paper which you might be confronting in the days to come. Exam blueprint is uh, the domain and uh, the percentage of questions. Uh, there are five uh, uh, process groups. Uh, initiation is the first one, planning is the second one, executing is the third one, monitoring and controlling is the fourth one, and closing is the fifth one. But because uh, project management is uh, carried out across the globe, so and uh, because uh, it has been uh, uh, initiated by people in the west so they are very much concerned about uh, the professional approach towards this subject and the social responsibility towards the society and that is why they have included at least nine percent of the questions from uh, professional and uh, social ethics so they, you will find quite a few questions related to ethics in uh, uh, in your exam. So five process groups and one extra uh, concerning the professional ethics. So probably you guys are also learning business and professional ethics as a subject in your uh, degree program. And quite a few would have been thinking of it uh, this way that uh, we are Muslim, why we are being taught uh, ethics as a subject. So it is not about uh, uh, being Muslim or non-Muslim, ethics is a universal concept which has emanated from uh, uh, various religions across the globe and over the years they have developed a concept of uh, professional ethics and which is uh, practically uh, being implemented in almost all areas of knowledge uh, with which they are coming up with. Unfortunately, this is a, it is a rare commodity in our part of the world, but we have to live with it, whatever it is. So this is uh, the distribution of the uh, number of questions across uh, five process groups uh, uh, being practiced in project management. Uh, exam result, overall pass or fail score, there is no such thing as uh, how many questions did you pass or fail. They will just, uh, the result which we will be getting at the end of your uh, exam, it will either be showing either you are proficient or you are moderately proficient or below proficient. So if you are proficient, then that simply means that you have uh, passed almost more than 80% of the questions passed. Moderately is like 75, 15, 75, and 80, and below is like uh, less than 60 percent so you have to and, and uh, all the three only five knowledge areas sorry uh, all the five uh, process groups which i have just mentioned in, in my previous slide uh, you need to pass certain number of questions uh, as we will move on i'll uh, be helping you with uh, quite a few other things as well in the uh, meantime uh, just uh, let's move, to, move on how to stay certified? Once you are certified, uh, then you are uh, uh, required to uh, try, practice, and demonstrate your uh, knowledge of project management. It is not something that, that once you are done with it, you are done for good or done for life. You need to keep yourself upgrading with the passage of time to remain uh, certified uh, for project management. Uh, maintaining certification means uh, you need to have six PDUs in three years. PDU stands for Professional Development Units. So you need to have 60 PDUs in three years time. So for that, you can either uh, become a writer of uh, project management in various forums across uh, the web, or you can start teaching project management, or you can uh, write articles, write papers, attend conferences, or meetings and uh, whatnot. So this is how you can accumulate, uh, you need to accumulate 60 PDUs to remain certified, but this 60 PDUs are required over a, over a time period of uh, three years. And once uh, at the end you have to have uh, 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 
documented evidence of uh, proving yourself that you did manage to get through these uh, 60 reviews and that that has to be submitted to PMI uh, for your certification to remain valid. Uh, professional development units, uh, what do you need for it? Uh, formal academic education, no maximum. Uh, author, speaker, teacher on project management topics, uh, maybe up to from 5 to 40. Training from PMI research training partners, no maximum limit. Uh, PM content, other provider for each hour. Uh, PM content means you can also, once you are certified, then you can again uh, uh, develop or uh, write questions and send them for uh, to be included in the uh, in the PMI's database for uh, uh, upcoming exams. So you can also become a writer for the, those kind of activities as well after your certification. Officer of PM organization, committee member of the PM organization, the community charity PM work. So if you are practically uh, engaged in uh, project management related work, you can get up to from one to 20 units, uh, PD units uh, to remain uh, certified uh, over a three years time period. So this is the distribution of uh, PDUs uh, in various areas of uh, your activity over three years time. Uh, review, uh, four year degree program, uh, secondary degree, uh, project management experience, uh, 7500 hours, and uh, over here it is 4500 hours, 35 uh, contact hours, and uh, online podcast PMP courses offer most flexibility and value for many. And get uh, 35 hours education this is basically uh, a slide taken from uh, a professional organization dealing in uh, exams so they have in a way uh, they have mentioned their fees for uh, uh, imparting those 35 contact hours education so but over here, uh, you can get this uh, formal education for up to maybe 35, between 35 and 40,000. You pay and uh, you become, uh, you can get certification for the 35 hours, contact hours needed for appearing in PMP exam. Quite a few organizations are operating in Pakistan as well. And uh, then uh, you go through audit process, uh, schedule your exam at the United Center. Is located at the total total uh, two source total one near uh, Clifton, and uh, re examination fee is uh, two two seventy five for uh, members and three seventy five for non members, maximum two attempts. And side the exam, pass the exam, and become a certified professional. Four hours and two hundred questions. So you are uh, only having seventy seconds to answer one question. And questions are not like the one which I have showed you earlier. I'll be sharing with you quite a few other uh, questions uh, during this uh, short course which we are going through uh, to give you the flavor of uh, the examination. Uh, this is again another slide which you can uh, see for yourself. Uh, once you start uh, documenting your uh, profile on uh, PMI site, you have uh, 30 days to complete your uh, application. And once your application is completed, then you need to pay for uh, the fees. And the, the, once your fee is paid, you have, uh, uh, from the time you start making application, uh, all that time is included during uh, which time you, you have one year time from uh, filing your application until uh, passing your exam. During this time, you will be required to attempt uh, three times uh, to pass the exam. For quite a few people, I have come across uh, this exam is a peanut, but quite a few of uh, highly uh, qualified people, it is, uh, it is a roller coaster ride for them to get through the exam uh, successfully. Uh, but anyways, it all depends because if you uh, manage to get simple questions or the questions which you have uh, studied very well and if they appear you get through it very easily but if someone fails that does not mean that uh, he didn't uh, 
made ex enough efforts for it because I have come across quite a few people who have uh, who don't have even the basic uh, understanding of the project management, uh, yet they managed to get through uh, the certification. Uh, and uh, I was quite amazed to see them. But anyways, uh, this is life and it, uh, it goes like that. Uh, one of the management lesson, never start a project unless all these resources are available. So if you are into project management, make sure that you have all the available resources available to get through your uh, project management experience in your life. Uh, now uh, I'm uh, open for your questions because uh, we managed to get through in 26 minutes. Uh, this whole thing. Uh, so I'm uh, available for your questions. If you have any, I'm opening uh, the mic for uh, you to come up to. Yes, please, anyone. Feel free to raise your questions. And uh, I'm giving you a, uh, option of uh, unmuting yourself and raise the question. Yes, Ms. Shazra. Anyone, please uh, don't hesitate because I'm not, uh, I, I, you are not familiar with me and I'm not familiar with you, so you don't have to be hesitant. And we have not yet seen each other, so there is no issue as such uh, in raising questions. Because, uh, so feel free and raise your questions if you have any. And if not, if not then uh, we can uh, uh, start uh, the next part of it. Yes, please, anyone. Or was it that clear that you don't even have uh, any questions popping up in your mind? Even you can write in the chat box if you like to. Uh, I don't mind uh, writing questions if you are uh, uncomfortable asking in English or Urdu, whatever. But you can at least write in the uh, chat box and uh, send your questions. Please feel free. Uh, I'm open to questions. And if you want me to move ahead, at least you can raise your hands and uh, so that I get the feeling that you know, you're comfortable in moving uh, forward. Anyone, please raise your hand and just let me know. Okay, thank you, Ms. Tuva. Uh, okay, let's uh, move on. Uh, Shazra also, uh, Rima, and uh, anyways, uh, I'm least uh, concerned about the name than anything. I just wanted to have a go ahead. But please, if you can raise your voice. Uh, okay, I'm trying my best to make use of uh, my mic uh, loud and clear to you. Okay, uh, one more thing before I move on. Uh, are you guys comfortable in English or you want me to talk to you in Urdu as well? Uh, now is it uh, audible for you all? Uh, just let me know if it is uh, okay. Please, uh, anyone, just uh, write on uh, chat box as well. I'm watching uh, your either your hands or uh, the chat box wherever you feel comfortable. Uh, telling me if you are comfortable in English, I have no issues. If you are uh, uncomfortable, I can uh, make use of both the languages. Uh, okay. Anyone is uh, comfortable? Anyone else? So both are both are fine. Okay. Uh, off and on uh, uh, from now on, I think. Uh, okay, I'll 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 make use of Urdu language as well. Uh, I have no issues whatsoever. Uh, so this is good that uh, whatsoever I have just explained is uh, very much okay with you guys. So this is a good thing that I'm making my point uh, clear to you. And it is making me uh, raise my collars in front of you at least. <laughs> I wish I could see underlit smile on your faces at this uh, this uh, sentence. Anyways, uh, so uh, let's move. Uh, now this is the uh, Omni project management. Uh, as you already know that uh, Zoom allows uh, 40 minutes for uh, a session to be uh, concluded there. So now 40 minutes are going to be over in 10 minutes. 
have been worn by these young people. So uh, I'll not go very fast. I will uh, try to be, but I'll come back again because we are going to have uh, two sessions uh, each day. Uh, okay, no issues. Uh, okay. ठीक है मुझे कोई ऐसा इशू नहीं है तो एक्चुअली जो अब हम जिस चीज पे बात करेंगे उसमें आई बी टेलिंग यू अबाउट प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट उसमें हम पांच प्रोसेस ग्रुप्स जो कि मैं ऑलरेडी पहले बता चुका हूँ उसके बारे में थोड़ी सी बात करेंगे इसमें टेन नॉलेज एरियाज हैं जिसके ऊपर बात होगी और इसके अलावा 49 प्रोसेसेस हैं जो जिसमें से सारे प्रोसेस शायद हम डिस्कस ना कर सकें लेकिन कुछ प्रोसेसेस जो हैं वो हम इसमें ज़रूर डिस्कस करेंगे तो इसमें जो ये जो ऊपर वाला पार्ट है और एक नीचे वाला पार्ट है तो इसमें से जो प्रोसेस ग्रुप है उसमें एक आता है इनिशिएटिंग प्लानिंग कंट्रोलिंग एंड एक्सिक्यूटिंग तो मॉनिटरिंग एंड कंट्रोलिंग है प्लानिंग है इनिशिएटिंग है एक्सिक्यूटिंग है क्लोजिंग नहीं दिया हुआ तो क्लोजिंग जो है वो इसको यूँ समझ लें कि एनालिसिस और सक्सेस जो है वो आपकी क्लोजिंग है तो ये इस तरह से पाँच प्रोसेस ग्रुप बनते हैं जो कि यहाँ पर इन्होंने छः के इस तरह से दिखाया बट ये तस्वीर चूँकि मैंने खुद नहीं बनाई है तो इसकी I'm not claiming for it. Uh, it was just uh, I, you know, I got it from the uh, Google uh, images. So just bear with me. Uh, but again, because uh, the picture is not mine, and I have already acknowledged it, so there is no harm in making use of these pictures in uh, making these presentations. But anyways, uh, so. Uh, ये बेसिकली जो प्रेजेंटेशन मैं अभी आपके साथ शेयर कर रहा हूँ ये मैंने पी एफ टी में एज अ सी पी डी एक्टिविटी करवाई थी दिसंबर ट्वेंटी टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन सो इस वजह से ये यहाँ पर आपको शुरू हो रहा है टेन ईयर्स यू नो वॉट शुड बी दुल फॉर्म ऑफ लेक्चर इट शुड बी लिटरली इफेक्टिव इन कॉजिंग दूनाइटेड रिस्पॉन्स ऑफ थर्टी वन स्लीपिंग तो नॉर्मली मुझे नहीं पता कैसे टाइम तो ऐसा नहीं है कि आपको इस पढ़ने के बाद नींद आए आ, लेकिन हो सकता है कि मेरी बातों में वो जो शेर है कि अंदाजे में अगर से मेरा शौक नहीं है शायद कोई कर जाए तेरे दिल में दिल ना तो अगर अच्छी लगेगी तो शायद सोएंगे नहीं और अगर तो अच्छी नहीं लगेगी तो डेफिनेटली प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट जो है वो एक तरह से ये जो तस्वीर है इसको अगर मैं एक लफ्ज में बयान करना चाहूँ जो कि प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट की वो कैबलरी का भी जार्गन है तो इसको कहेंगे प्रोग्रेसिव इलाबोरेशन प्रोग्रेसिव इलाबोरेशन प्रोग्रेसिव इलाबोरेशन ऐसा ही है कि नॉर्मली जब आप किसी भी प्रोजेक्ट पे काम करते हैं तो वो आपके लिए एक भूल भुलैया होती है इस डायग्राम को भी हम अंग्रेजी में कहें तो इसके लिए वो लफ्ज इस्तेमाल लेते हैं लबरिन और मेज और उर्दू में इसको भूल भुलैया कहते हैं तो मैंने एक ब्लॉग भी इस पर लिखा है जिसका मैंने टाइटल दिया था लबरिन जब मैं वो बना रहा था तो पहले मैंने इसको मेज लिखा था एम ए जेड जेड ई लेकिन जब मेज को मैंने उसके मीनिंग जब मैंने तलाश किए डिक्शनरी में तो मुझे पता चला कि अब ये मैं थोड़ी बहुत टूट पटांग जो बातें कर रहा हूँ वो इसलिए कि मेरे पास सिर्फ पाँच मिनट हैं और मैं इससे आगे जाना नहीं चाह रहा मैं चाह रहा हूँ कि इन्हें दो तीन तस्वीरें मैं आपको उलझा के रखूँ लेकिन मैं इसको भी जाहिर है कि खामोश रहूँगा तो जो कि खामोशी खुद की वो है मेरी ज़ुबानी है ज़ुबान मेरी तो खामोशी भी जो है वो मैसेज कन्वे कर रही होती है लेकिन अभी मैं खामोश इसलिए नहीं रहूँगा कि अब मेरे पास सिर्फ पाँच मिनट हैं और पाँच मिनट इस तस्वीर को कम से कम एक्सप्लेन कर देना है तो मेज जो है उस, उसका कॉन्सेप्ट ये होता है कि उसका उसमें जाने का एक रास्ता होता है लेकिन निकलने के लिए आपके पास तीन चार रास्ते अवेलेबल होते हैं 
तो अगर कोई ऐसा ऐसी भूलभुलियाँ अगर आपके सामने आती हैं तो उसको मेज बोलते हैं लेकिन लेबरेंथ जो है वो उसको कहते हैं जिसमें जाने का जो रास्ता होता है वही रास्ता वापसी का भी होता है तो दोनों में डिफरेंस बेसिकली ये है लेकिन अगर इस तस्वीर में अगर आप देखें तो आपको दूसरे एंड पे देर इज देर इज लाइट एट दी एंड ऑफ द टनल एंड दर एंड लेकिन आपको इसमें से जब आप गुजर के जाना चाहेंगे वहाँ तक तो आपको बहुत सारे अप्स एंड डाउन आएंगे तो प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट में भी बेसिकली यू फेस क्वाइट अफ्यू डिफिकल्टीज इन गेटिंग थ्रू दोजेक्ट टू इट्स सक्सेस सो दिस इज इन अ वे आई वॉन्टेड टू गिव यू एन आइडिया दैट इट इज गोइंग टू बी डिफिकल्ट इफ यू डोंट हैव द राइट काइंड ऑफ टूल्स एंड नॉलेज अवेलेबल to implement uh, project management in your uh, career or uh, you 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 can uh, uh, make use of these tools and uh, techniques available to you uh, in order to uh, make it uh, a success at the end of the day so there is light at the end of the tunnel uh, so ye jo hai isko aam fam agar angrezi mein kahe to ye maze hai लेकिन इसको प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट की टर्मिनोलॉजी में प्रोग्रेसिव लाइब्रेशन कहते हैं प्रोग्रेसिव लाइब्रेशन का मतलब ये कि एज यू कीप मूविंग इन इम्प्लीमेंटिंग योर और एक्सिक्यूटिंग योर प्रोजेक्ट तो क्वाइट अ फ्यू थिंग्स यू विल कंफ्रंट उसमें बहुत सारी चीज़ें आप ऐसी फेस करेंगे जो आपने पहले जिंदगी में कभी फील नहीं की होंगी तो उनको फेस करने के लिए यू आर सपोज टू यू बी रेडी टू फेस दिच यू आर विच आर कमिंग योर वे so this is how you can get through your project uh, once you know the tools and techniques and knowledge areas which i'm going to share with you very uh, quickly during these 10 lectures so again uh, uh, this is going to be uh, your road map and uh, these eyes are focusing at you is that uh, they are posing a threat to you that is if you are venturing into uh, this project management the field it is not going to be an easy ride for you but uh, again if you know uh, if you know your work if you know your uh, job if you know if you have the background information and knowledge with you uh, then sky is the limit no nothing can stop you from uh, uh, becoming a successful project manager at the end of the day so this show this basically shows that uh, the, the the picture is right in front of you is uh, your road map towards uh, project management and those eyes are basically threatening you but if you are venturing into it it is not going to be a uh, uh, easy ride for you to get through but anyways i'll try to make it uh, uh, a smooth sailing for you in the days to come inshallah so uh what is project management the application of knowledge skills tools and techniques to project activities in order to meet project requirements this is the definition of project management uh by uh, by the uh, pmi isme aapko jin cheezon ki zarurat padti hai wo hai processes procedures and systems tools techniques and methodologies एंड एटीट्यूड्स वैल्यूज एंड अप्रोचेज तो जो पिछली स्लाइड में जब हम इसकी जो पी एम पी वाली जो स्लाइड हम देख रहे थे तो उसमें आपको जो वैल्यूज जो है वो बेसिकली एटीट्यूड और वैल्यूज एंड अप्रोचेज जो है ये बेसिकली वहाँ से डील करता है बिकॉज पी एम आई का जो मोटो है वो ये है कि वॉट एवर प्रोजेक्ट यू आर वर्किंग ऑन यू हैव टू बी सोशली रिस्पॉन्सिबल प्रोफेशनली and uh, ethically strong that makes you a good project manager in the, in the international context uh, now uh, we are uh, left with uh, less than 1 minute so it will be closed any moment and uh, i'll be recording this uh, video for you for uh, for your later viewing and i'll post it uh, on my uh, on my uh, uh, youtube channel so you can view it afterwards as well if you uh,